now a man who can claim to produce professional stars from all sorts of raw material. He's achieved success as a trainer of fighters and as an ambassador for boxing. Spencer Oliver went to Sheffield to continue his series on the top trainers and found Brendan Ingle in top form. As always, opinionated, unique and unorthodox. <coughs> Brendan Ingle, the journeyman fighter from Dublin who became one of Britain's best known trainers. He came to England more than 40 years ago and started training fighters at the St Thomas's Club in Sheffield. It's the gym that gave us Prince Nassim Hamed. Brendan's unique style of training still packs a place out every day. My own technique was very different to what he teaches. Whoever's trained him, I'd sack him because his feet are not in coordination with his hands. Now watch, one shot. I know here, I can hit him from here. I can hit you from here. Now watch, you lead a left hand at me. Right, that's all I've got to do. That's all you've got to do when you're in distance. 11 ways to miss a left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is probably the best one, lead on, that. I just pull his hand down and bring his chin on and hit him off it. That's 11 ways. The floor is covered with coloured lines and circles, all designed by Brendan, so his fighters can work on their balance and footwork. You got there, Spencer? Yep. Right, now watch. Jab. Now watch me hands and me feet and me coordination, because I don't ask them what to do unless I can do it myself. Bang. One. Bang. Two. Bang. You got it? Bang. Boom. Boom. Another important part of the training is building confidence. All of these boys, young and old, are encouraged to perform to the crowd. Off you go, sing. No, it gives a bit something special. Off you go. <laughs> So a lot of the kids are basically shy. So you see them when they get in here, the first song they learn in here when they're doing it. Red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. I can sing a rainbow. You want my hands and my feet and my voice are all in what? Coordination? Yeah, sure. He brings it out of us to perform in front of people, whether you're talking, singing, boxing, you know what I mean? It's all in your confidence. So that's what he teaches in here. Brendan's unorthodox teaching methods all revolve around five different ways of fighting. But the system here from orthodox, which is there, orthodox, southpaw, switch, stand square on, and box from the side. So if I can box him five ways and he can only box one, got if he, advantage. I've got the advantage of four. I'm not saying it's going to work. We're going to switch now, one shot. One, 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 one. I'm terrible. Do you understand? Because he's never what? Absolutely. Never done it before. Two, two. Two. Oh, no, 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 Come on, you're right. You got to do it the other way. Now, do you see where it have the? I'd have I can't it all do tough, boy, yeah. no, Of course you can. Sure. Now we're just having it. He hasn't been taught. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a style that I'm used to, but other fighters like Harold Bomber Graham mastered it and enjoyed great success. And current WBO cruiserweight champion Johnny Nelson has trained at the Sheffield Gym throughout his career and puts all his success down to Brendan. You know, I'm a product of this gym, and that's all I am. You know, and so that's why I say to you, there'll always be somebody after me. Because if the gym can produce me, it can produce somebody else. But Brendan's biggest star was the Prince. Nas brought the unorthodox switch hitting style to the worldwide audience with some devastating displays of power and accuracy. His performance against Steve Robinson when he first won the world title still ranks as one of Brendan's proudest moments. That was the best display of what I teach. When his imam had went towards, towards Robinson, he went boom, boom, up his, watch me, up his hand, up his foot, boom, 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 going forward. Is that what he done with him? Yeah. Of course he did. And then he went that way, and then he turned, and then done that, and then, 
Brave Indian Houston 7 doing it? But then in 1998 came the split. I feel sorry for him. I don't want to talk to him. I don't have nothing to do with him. And I walked away. I got my money off him. And that was the finish of it. Things seemed to go wrong after that. John Faxton, Pelly Reid and Ryan Rhodes all suffered damaging defeats. Barry McGuigan was one of many questioning Brendan's methods. We've criticised Brendan Ingle in the past and we say that style maybe suits someone who's an exceptional uh, talent like Nassim Hamid or the likes of Bomber Graham. Everybody's got their own technique and no matter how good you are, what you do, you've only got to get hit once on the what? On the chin, it's over. But it's not over because only the start is how good you are coming back. Brendan was awarded the MBE in 1998 for his services to boxing and he can still be found in the gym almost every day. Training fighters, the Brendan Ingle way. Well, it's very unorthodox, but it's effective. But some get it off better than others. If you want to do anything with these kids, you've got to be in here every day. You've not only got to teach them like what we're doing, you've got to motivate them, inspire them. It's very demanding, but it's very rewarding. Spencer may not have found that an entirely rewarding experience from you in a moment or two. And Brendan Starr may not be for everybody, but the man on the left of your screen, probably there, Johnny Nelson, is surely the evidence that this system can work. A lucid, good-looking, wealthy, successful boxer. <laughs> so <laughs> the system works. Yeah, the system works. It, 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 Brendan doesn't just train the body, he trains the mind as well. So that's why when he's got you singing and... and and sometimes it's not his job to be nice to you, it's his job to, to bring the best out of you. But I was not saying that the system doesn't work. What I'm saying is, all right, you've got to be there from the... For my money, I think you've got to be there from the beginning with Brendan Ingle to learn that style. You know, if you're going to do those methods, you've got to be there from the beginning. I think if you've got someone coming in that's already boxed, i.e. myself, trying to do something like that, you're, just, you know, you're not going to pick it up. And I thought that, you know, Brendan was a little bit disrespectful to, to my own, not to me, but to my own trainer by saying, you know, if I was his trainer, I would have sacked him, you know, this is terrible and all that, because, you know, we're all taught that certain yeah. way, and I think that that was a little bit I, I disrespectful I understand that, Spencer, but if, if you're a professional, you want perfection. And so, so if you see a fighter fight and you think, look, you're capable of doing this three or four different ways, you, you should be able to do it. And he, he expects it. Even though some guy can't do it, he expects you to be able to do it. If he teaches it, if you can listen, but the you methods, can absorb information. But the methods that he does, you're never going to pick that up in a day. You know yourself. Oh, you won't pick. Oh, you so, so unorthodox. But you're never going to pick that up. In, again, that's what in, I say about. Day. That's what. I, that's what I say about training the mind. You've got to have the discipline and the mentality to be, to be able to be, be patient and wait for yourself to be able to do it as though it's walking, as though it's nothing to sure. you. Sure, Johnny. We're all delighted that you have had a run of success. What does it do for the? for Brendan Ingle's self-confidence in his methods when he has a string of losers, and there have been a few losers. Well, so at the end of the, you know, it, it comes in up and down, ups and downs. At the end of the day, the system has never changed, yeah, uh, apart from improved. He doesn't say, right, we're not going to do that anymore because we've had a string of losers. It's just an unfortunate situation that things happen like that. But if you think about the, the, the British champions that we've had out of the gym, uh, the world champions that we've had out of the gym, the boxing fighters of the years that have been, uh, have been nominated out of the gym, so it proves, you know, how many gyms can you say where fighters have gone there from amateurs, turned pro and still been successful at the two and been successful throughout and boxed all over the world? I'm not denying the, the success in the camp, you know, he's producing the Seam Hamed, Johnny Nelson, It's Ryan one of Rose, the best runs since you know, Terry Lawless. Without a doubt, I'm not denying the success, but also, you know, it's not going to work for everybody. You know, but Brendan was first to admit that himself. He said he said himself that this does, you know this style doesn't work for everybody, but it does work for some of them. And, and like I said, he's produced Johnny, he's Eventually, produced Ryan, yeah. and Nassim Hamed, who you, is yeah, undoubtedly if you, if one of the If you come best. in the gym, if you come in the gym and you feel well, this isn't for me, because fighters have done that, and you feel this isn't for me, you walk and mm -hmm. go elsewhere. If you feel as though you've got the patience to to stick it out and absorb that information, I think that you've really got to be there. My personal opinion, you've got to be there from the beginning so to, to really adapt to that. Spencer, Audley training. Harrison hopefully wins an Olympic gold medal and maybe thinks about going to Brendan Ingle, given that he has a record of success. Would it be too difficult for you to, to, no, to blend to Brendan's ways? Well, I think there are different strokes for different folks, and I think at the end of the day, Brendan teaches a certain style, produces a certain style of fire, which can go on to be very successful in the professional arena, same as many other trainers do. And I've looked at Brendan's style, and, and I am actually a switch hitter myself. 
so, you know, that's a potential that I might go ah, to and have a look. I told you I'm a good deal maker. <laughs> the other point about this as well, which wasn't raised in your piece, Spencer, the, the work Brendan Ingle has done for kids who may not even turn professional as boxers. Well, he's doing a great job up there. He's doing a great job up there. And, and like you say, it's, it's not just for the person who wants to box. He's actually improving people's self-esteem and, and giving them confidence and making them being decent citizens. One kids brief that, last word. Jim. Kids that have never been even been in a, a, an amateur fight or professional fight, they get the same amount of attention as the, the, the amateurs and the professionals. Everybody gets the same amount of attention. Thank you.